Sex, sex. <laughs> did, did you say that? You are a monk, remember? <laughs> I've sometimes said to him, the cameras are on us. Honestly, the energy between them is eight-year-old boy. You are mischievous. <laughs> what is the purpose of your visit, sir? Just enjoy our friendship and talk about joy. I don't think you could find two people on the planet who are more different than the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. One grew up in absolute poverty, the other grew up in a thousand room palace. Unfortunately, that person is Christian. Unfortunately, he's a Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of shared background. Both of them have deep history of struggle against authoritarian systems. The Tibetan people are being exterminated. Their culture and religion are being stamped out. Age 24, I lost my own country. Amid tear gas and police dogs, Desmond Tutu led a people against apartheid. When people decide to be free, absolutely nothing is going to stop them from becoming free. You can overcome the most horrendous circumstances and emerge on the other side not broken. When you say you are pursuing happiness, you are not going to find it. Happiness isn't just something that feels good. Happier people, they're physically healthier, they have stronger immune systems, they even live longer. Ultimate source of happy life, inside, not outside. It really becomes something, something quite special. Yes. I think at time of my death, I will remember you. Thank you. <laughs> ARD Plus. Wiedersehen macht Freude.